Okay, this is the sixth video of the pair PHP tutorials brought to you by Imagination Everywhere and RIA R I A Institute um, on YouTube. And we're finally going to get to some coding, um, writing some code for uh, the pair packages. Um, just to follow up on the last video, um, I went ahead and installed the rest of the pair packages for the structures data grid and it installed some other things that needed to be installed such as the HTML table and uh, quick form and uh, you know other things that have to do with the, the quick form too. Um, uh, all the structured data grid uh, data source drivers are on uh, are there and all of the renderers are also there um, so we have everything uh, that we need to write the the data the data grid code um, so uh, which what we what we do is we'll just go to pair and we'll go to the data grid structure data grid and in the documentation <coughs> we'll go to the quick example which is this right here and with this example we'll just cut all you have to do is just cut and paste this code and then like I said um I use expression web and PHP designer um, if you've watched the earlier videos you saw me and how I configured those um, and so uh, I already have some documents ready to go um, in uh, in these programs so what we can do is um, I can just go to the recent sites and uh, go to the my WAMP folder load it up in uh, uh, into expression web and let's open up the quick form first so here we go we have the quick form right here um, here's the code um, if we go back um, to uh, pair and we uh, go to uh, packages and we go to the uh, HTML quick form uh, which is the uh, quick form uh, it says it's not uh, uh, support it but uh, that's not what I'm here for I'm just trying to show you how to create a basic form and here we go right here um, so if we go back to this right here uh, what we do is we go ahead and uh, let's run this there's a quick form but unfortunately we have some uh, some errors so um, if you remember from the last tutorial what we do is we just go into pair and go into HTML and we go into the quick form open it up and we see where the errors are uh, they're on lines 5, 97, 1707 and 1864 so what we can do is we can go to uh, 597 and as you know it's it's just the and sign um, that's there uh, 1707 the and sign and then uh, 1864 get rid of the and sign save it refresh there we go I'm in raw uh, you, you know I can put in my email um, you know and you know submit and do whatever uh, you know it I didn't direct it to go into anything so it's not a big deal um, so uh, but here we go you know and then uh, let's go back to expression web and we can check out uh, this HTML form um, if we go ahead and run it now this is not supposed to give you anything but this but as you can see this the table HTML table has some errors in it 
so if we uh, go and open up HTML table and you know it's basically a self-explanatory I don't have to go over that in in this video um, you know just get rid of the and signs and I'll do that later um, I want to get to the structures data grid uh, let's get to that code if we go ahead and click on this here we go with this so let's go ahead and run this as you can see it renders but we still have these uh, these errors so let's go ahead and fix these errors right quick and they're all in the well they're actually the same errors in the uh, HTML table so I'll have to fix the HTML table so we'll be able to run both of them but there's one error in the structures data grid which is on line 398 and let's go ahead and save that and we can get out of there and if we refresh it as you can see that error is gone so let's go to the HTML table and the errors on that page are on 180 and 181 so we can go ahead and get rid of these and signs save that and then 205, 223 and we go ahead and save that and get rid of that wow there we go and if you can look at the code the uh, the code is coming from um, the include the the require once file is the data grid dot php um, it's creating a new data grid is instantiating the data grid um, and then it's uh, 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 a new variable that uh, is an array uh, the data source name is MySQL. Uh, the name of the database is root. The username is root. Doesn't have a password. And then the the database is uh, MySQL. And the table is DB. The options is DB query. If we go uh, key, oh well, we don't have to do that. Um, I don't want to get into it. Get into all that. And then we got the data grid renderer, which is uh, default is the HTML table so we we got all this going um, if we go into uh, PHP uh, designer and open up that same file and we go ahead and debug the file it produces the same thing now the only problem that we have is in WAMP server for whatever reason this is not producing Oh uh, well, I mean, it says that it needs this on 48 and all that, but as you can see, the other ones uh, produce. So um, what we need to do is we need to. I'm trying to get with the guys from Pear to help us work this out. I mean, I can change this right here. This is nothing but you know, uh, in, you know, doing the whole include uh, path uh, situation for the the Pear uh, file in the in the structures data grid. So we have to get that fixed. But you know, as you can see. In Expression Web uh, uh, and in uh, PHP Designer, it rendered. So for whatever reason, I don't know whatever reason, we're going to get that fixed. So um, stay tuned for the next video. I hope you enjoy this one, and I hope you've seen that we just did some quick code, and we are going to get into more advanced topics as we get it get into pair and all that. I you know from my experience with .NET um, and you know PHP is 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 nothing to me. So uh, thank you for watching this video, and I'm just very excited for everybody. Uh, you have a good day, and uh, look forward to the next video.